Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, I'm actually jumping for joy. And you know why? Because we almost have our quarry. The only thing we need, as you can see, is our diamond drill, which we just need titanium. Let me show you. I got it all kind of set up here, ready to go. We just need our titanium and the drill, which here's our drill right here. So let's grab that and I got the steel from uh, our industrial blast furnace I think I already had three pieces but I just need two more so got that oh, put it down here in my inventory I always do that and titanium so let's go get the titanium and this is our industrial electrolyzer here it is. I had it working. I already got 16 tiny piles of titanium dust and a lot of aluminum dust. Seems like you go through a lot of aluminum. Um, so let's go ahead and grab those. And I believe it's just four, four by four. That should give me four. I only need two, but oh, I'm so excited. And it should only be just that. And if I can figure out how to do it, I'll do a time lapse here. Okay, welcome back. And there's our two pieces. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Actually, we need to check on this. Getting down there. But once we get our quarry up and running, we will have no problems with uh, cobblestone, I can guarantee it. Or dirt. Ours will just be going crazy. So, um, let's see. Where are we at? Let's see. So we got that, got that. Here we go. Diamond drill. And I did it again, didn't I? Wow. Okay. Oh man, there it is. That is exciting. That is a nice piece of equipment right there. So I guess the next question we want to ask is where are we going to stick it? Um, and what are we going to power it with? We got plenty of bio biomass engines. Um, that probably right now is going to be the easiest thing, although we need a bunch of them. Um, let me think about this for a second know what we can run combustion. I mean, I always liked using combustion because you don't need a ton of them. And I have a pretty good setup how I like to do it. Uh, let's see. Combustion engine. Well, fuel six. Let's see what we need. We just need iron and gosh, they're cheap to make too. I should just make a bunch of those. Oil buckets. Lava buckets. What is... Is 5e 5k? So I know fuel buckets always been the best. But biofuel's not bad. Although to make biofuel, I'm going to need to make a still. I think, which is pretty expensive. Fuel can, fuel capsule, but I don't have fuel. Biofuel, biofuel, bio. And I don't have fuel. Hmm. Oil. Diesel cell. Biodiesel cell. Lava void capsule. What is that? Lava void capsule. Never heard seen those before. This must be kind of new. 
lava cell. I can throw those in there. Those aren't that great. Um, hmm. Well, shoot, I don't know. It doesn't need to go full speed right away anyways. Um, I mean, usually I like to run it off about six combustion engines. Or was it eight? Actually, eight combustion engines. Um, hmm. I'll think about this for a second. And um, I'll let you know what I decide in a second. Hey, guys. Welcome back. I... Ran into a big problem here with copper, so I'm just sitting here letting this thing go. I had to actually turn off these two because they were just, uh, everything was kind of just sucking up too much lava, and I couldn't run this, so I ended up stopping everything I was doing upstairs, too, and because uh, it would draw down the power on the MFSU, and I think also this. The uh, industrial electrolyzer was doing the same thing. It was just drawing power, and then all these were drawing too much lava, and then the industrial centrifuge wasn't getting any lava. So um, what I decided to do is I'm going to do a, a steel over here, and uh, do biofill, and probably uh, do, well, definitely going to do combustion engines with the quarry. And i got a combustion engine here, which I'm going to change it to biogas, because, number one, I don't think... I think that's just a uh, redstone engine powering that pump, and I don't think that's gonna. <laughs> once that gets hot, I don't think that's gonna work. So I'm just letting it run for now. I'm gonna keep an eye on it so it doesn't explode, because that would uh, really upset me. But um, I did build one more uh, biogas engine. I want to build two more here to see if I can uh, try and keep up. I just not do not have enough lava here, so um, it seems like right now with nothing else running I mean I do have my recycler well actually the recycler is done running now too so with the recycler d not running and just one thermal generator it seems like it's about pretty much keeping up it'll get to uh, 16 lava units um, about the time that it finishes here so <clears throat> I mean that's great when I'm not doing anything else but I do kinda want it to be self-sufficient so um, I need to get two more biogas engines. I think I don't really like the way that's set up. I think what I'm going to do is bring it out this way and face it this way also. And then that way, if I want to, I can end up coming out this way with a third uh, magma crucible if I want to. So, which I think I'm going to probably have to need to do eventually, anyways. So, um,. But in the meantime, I got a bunch of scrap here, so I figured it'd be kind of fun just to um why do I have all these shovels? I have no idea. But I figured it'd be kind of cool to make a bunch of scrap boxes and see if we get anything interesting out of them. So, let's go do that real quick. Got to clear up some space here though real fast. Get rid of all this charcoal. I was running the uh the uh, still there by um, Sterling engine for a little bit and it was just way too slow so there's my quarry yay um, got a ton of rubber wood now the rubber wood the rubber tree plant out there uh, rubber tree farm is doing really well now so I'm pretty excited about that and let's see here so, scrap boxes. Let's see if we get something cool. Hopefully some copper. Actually, you can see I got some copper there, but I think I need 27 more. Or I need 27, including that, um, to get the amount that I need to make two more. From what I have, I don't know. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense, does it? Okay. There's 64, so... Let's see if I get anything. It's probably going to be a lot of different stuff, so... Oh, I saw some uh, 
Another wreck go by. That's kind of nice. A lot more scrap. I guess you get scrap back a lot, right? What is that? That looks like a battery. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, lazarite dust, saltpeter, netherrack, grass, yeehaw. Rotten flesh, glowstone. Oh, that's not bad, glowstone. Flint, netherrack dust. Hmm. One pick, one shovel, more scrap. Soul sand, which we need a lot of. And calcite dust. And we'll have maybe some sticks and sawdust. Hmm. It's exciting. I want to pick that up though. Um, let's grass. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We'll just toss everything back in here. So we'll do that and that, that, that and that. Um, anything else we want to throw in there? No, I'm gonna keep those. That looks pretty good. So that's that's what you call recycling, I guess. Let's see, what else do we got? We got another rack and a single-use battery, which I don't know what those are for. And it's not saying anything. So, hmm. okay, that was exciting. Let's put that in with my big collection of soul sand and netherrack. Um, I do have some good news, though. I was reading up on the wiki. There was, a, I guess, the last update that they did for the Twilight Forest. They uh, did some um, pretty um, big... They've been, you know, the, what's it called? The Dark Tower? The really big tower, not the Twilight Tower, the not the Twilight Lich Tower, but the big tower. Um, they've done a lot of work on that. It's it was a big work. In, I mean, it was a work in progress. There was nothing in there hardly when I went in there before. Um, and uh, not in this uh, this series, but um, before when I uh, was playing around with the Twilight Forest, there was really a lot of stuff that the, they were working on. And uh, there are some golems and some uh, gas and stuff they put in there. But I also just read that they put in blazes in there. So blaze rods, which really, really, really need. So I was pretty excited to read about that. Um, um, so I think... Eventually here pretty soon we're gonna go check it out. I don't know if also um they have areas that's called nether bursts inside the uh tower where I guess netherrack has kinda of taken over the the room or the, the separate rooms and stuff, so um Basically, there's a lot of netherrack, which is good, which will help a lot. I don't, still don't think there's, I don't know if there's any soul sand, so I'll stick that there. But um, definitely something to go look at here eventually. Four more. <laughs> it's all scrap. Oh, that's stupid. And I wouldn't know. Oh, that's so much fun. But we did get one soul sand and one netherrack, I think, out of the whole thing. So that was well worth it, right? Maybe not. All right, let's see where we're at with our copper. Definitely gonna have to pulverize this, so let's get on that. Uh, let's see, yeah, we already had five bronze, and you need 11 bronze per um, per biogas engine. But to make 12 bronze, you need, what is that? Oh, 
Metal six times three, and eighteen, need eighteen copper. So this is only going to get me one biogas engine. So, anyways, I'm going to uh, go ahead and keep processing this stuff. I'm probably going to do just some AFK stuff so I can get some more copper. I'll probably go over and maybe do some enchanting while these, uh, while I build up my copper supplies. Seems like I just wait around a lot <laughs> for copper these days. It's amazing how intensive uh, these recipes are for copper, and when you don't have it, I'm actually pretty much completely out of iron, too. That's all. So, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, pretty much almost all out of iron. I was taking all my uh, bones from uh, my skelly farm and t putting them through the pulverizer, and you get six. Um, six bone meal, and then I was tossing them in the uh, recycler. Seems like a pretty good uh, exchange. Um, but, anyways, um, when I get all my biogas engines up and running and everything, let me go down and check this uh, crazy. Um, yeah, it's oh, see, yep, yeah, it's all dry. So let's turn that off. That was what I was worried about. Yeah, so when I get all the biogas engines, I'm actually need two, and then I'm gonna probably put one over there to run the um, still. So three total. Um, once I get all that done, I'll come back and um, then hopefully I can also I'll make some combustion engines. We'll get that quarry set up too. So, anyways, um, I might uh, call that a episode so I don't know what the time is on this one but anyways I hope you guys are enjoying uh, click like if you enjoyed uh, the episode if you're enjoying the series so far again remember I am in the Twilight Forest I'm doing everything in the Twilight Forest so it's uh, quite a challenge but um, if you like it and uh, want to see more subscribe and uh, click like and I'll see you guys next time